What's up guys, it's P Sensei. In today's video, we have Rank 30 Amber from Duo Shidon. Big thanks to Pong Delong for helping me out. Go ahead and check his channel out if you haven't already. But we're just gonna be going over some games that led up to it. Um, but before we do so, let's just go over the gadget and the starbar to use, and we'll head right into it. All right, Amber's gadget gives her a speed boost and also drops some fire on the ground. This is a very useful gadget, so I definitely would recommend you get it. However, Amber is plenty broken as it is, so you probably won't need it. And the star power you want to use is Amber's first star power. It's extremely useful. It allows you to have two fuel puddles on the ground, which is not really useful. But the second part, allowing you to recharge your super while standing in a puddle is extremely useful. So I definitely recommend you get it if you have the chance to. Alright, heading to the first re replay here, as you can see, running the Amber and Pam. Pam actually worked pretty decently, but before we talk about that, first of all, we just go ahead and get those boxes, then I go ahead and gouge it and head straight to the mid to quickly get those boxes there. Team contests us, but it's going to be Bagels with his 1200 Edgar. He goes a bit too aggro. We're able to completely melt him down, and I go ahead and drop my gadget to recover and also get my super. For some reason, his teammate stays there, and we're able to get that early team wipe. Unfortunately, a uh, Bagels did... Uh, lose um, a lot of trophies from that but uh definitely a misplay on his part as the edgar to go aggro especially after we um uh gotten him to half health and definitely his teammate should have definitely ran away there's no way his teammate wasn't able to defend both of us so a uh, misplay on their end um but anyways we were able to capitalize on that and now uh we have six cubes who are sitting very strong and that was our main strategy going into this was just you know to get try to um get to the mid as quick as possible and get those cubes to get that early advantage um amber is very good at opening boxes especially um uh group boxes that are grouped up because of that splash damage and just the amount of damage she does um you can just you can just rack up a lot of boxes quickly so um definitely the best maps for amber are going to be um uh, uh, maps that have a lot of boxes because of how quickly she can open them all right um, but yeah, Amber is definitely a very strong baller in Duo Shodown. Um, I put her as top 5. Um, some people might argue Tick is better, but nevertheless, um, you can't really deny that she's one of the best brawlers in Duo Shodown at the moment. Um, just, just so much damage. Um, her, her, her weakness would definitely have to be throwers or longer range options. Um, she can be weak to that, but uh, if any brawler does get in your range, um, as an Amber, they're pretty much dead. doesn't matter who they are, just because not very many brawlers can out damage. Um, it's just a constant barrage of flame um, without and, and <laughs> uh, the most annoying thing about Amber is uh, is that she it seems like she uh, is just constantly has fire right she's just shooting at you and it just it's unrelentless it just never stops until you die um, so anyway doing the same strategy again but this time we have teams coming to contest and so instead of just going straight for the bot because I go ahead and pinch some of the teams there to get them out and as you can see we're able to get that team down early all right. Unfortunately, um, not by me by myself. I'm, I'm not able to uh, contest both of those guys for the cubes there, so I have to retreat back to my partner. Uh, but now we're able to go and quickly ambush this team, as you can see, just completely melting them with Amber. As you can see, this is how strong Amber is. Like I said before, just so much damage, just an unrelentless barrage of flame at the enemy. Uh, there's really nothing they can do. Okay, we have this uh, Mr. P Ruffs team. And uh, I go ahead and uh, try to cycle around to give myself the top few advantage. All right, and as you can see there, we're able to catch them out of position. Very key there, able to get down the roughs uh, with my Amber Flame. And now we're gonna go ahead and chase down this remaining teammate. So definitely well played by me to go behind and then catch them out of position to go ahead and just completely destroy them with my Flame. All right, I go ahead and then kill the Mr. P then. All right, I tried to, to burn the roughs, but unfortunately he still had his shield. But nevertheless, I take my time to heal up, go ahead and grab these two cubes, go ahead and light my flame over there, and I, I end up uh, able to clip him, and we're able to take out that team over there. So very, very well played from us. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, Pam is, uh, I'd say, pretty underrated. Um, you know, I personally never didn't think Pam would be a pretty good pick, but she actually worked out pretty well. But with all that HP, 
Um, a lot of these brawlers in this duo shoulder meta don't actually do a lot of DPS, and so Pam's um, large HP pool can actually be a benefit. So, uh, um, yeah, there's that. Um, so she ended up actually working pretty well for us. Um, but again, doing the same strategy. We have a BB over there, and I just go ahead and just keep shooting at the BB, able to take her down with my unrelentless flame. And as you can see, getting that early kill and getting all those boxes in mid, five cubes at a big advantage. And just check out this play right here. Just throw ahead and throw the fire and just shoot and boom, okay. Um, Tick was able to escape because of the new broken Tick gadget, but uh, if he didn't, uh, I'm pretty sure he would have died as well. Just Amber Super is very strong. All right, and then we're able to quickly team wipe them. So now we're sitting extremely strong at eight cubes. Um, <laughs> um, so now we're just going to go ahead and wipe the floor with everyone else, starting with this M's. Uh, goodbye, M's. I'll see you next time. All right, then we go ahead and I go ahead and melt this Mr. P over there. And then now we have uh, the final team over there. Um, all right, Ruffs is able to kill the BB. I go ahead and drop my flame, and there's really nothing they can do. Absolutely dominating performance by us. Let's hop into the final replay. All right, hopping into the final replay. Um, yeah, so this shoulder meta was actually pretty nice. You know, I, I thought that uh, Ruffs would completely break the meta, but that's actually not the case. Um, Ruffs is definitely strong, don't get me wrong, but um, he, there's definitely uh, other viable options. You know, you have the likes of uh, Tick, Sprout, you know, Amber, um, Byron, B, Mr. P, um, as well as Ruffs. All these are very viable options. Um, and you, you can even sometimes bring out brawlers like Piper as well and have success with them like that. Um, so there's definitely a lot of viable options in this duo showdown on meta. Um, and yeah, you know, um, so there isn't just like this one comp that you have to run. Um, there's definitely a lot of different options. As you can see, we already beaten, you know, Mr. P um, roughs. We've beaten Mr. P rough comps already. You know, we've beaten a, a, a lot of different meta comps in these replays. So it just goes to show you that, uh, yeah, that the meta is pretty diverse and you love to see it diverse. Um, I go ahead and suicide to kill the Colt just because I know that Pong is not going to have a problem with dealing with the Shelly and as long as we get rid of the Colt, uh, we're going to be uh, doing pretty fine. And so as you can see, they were able to get that or the team. I, I hate Colt, by the way. Colt is just so annoying. Colt's one of my least favorite brawlers in the game. I don't know if that might upset some of you, but I, it is, I just find Colt's damage so annoying. Um, especially that gadget is so annoying as well. But anyways, enough about Colt. Um, so now again, we have a big cube lead, or at least Palm has a good, big cube lead, and we're just gonna go ahead and pinch this top team with the other team. Getting rid of these porters, these annoying porters. All right, then I go ahead and just shoot, and we're able to get that other team low. Pong's able to finish off that M's, and so now I go ahead and swoop in and get these cubes. I go ahead and throw my fire um, on the top team. This crow's trying to shoot at us for whatever reason. Um, he really should be trying to get get that team down first, but you know, whatever. You know, it's each their own, I suppose. Uh, so, our right, M's comes back. She shoots at us for whatever reason. Like, bro, you're not gonna kill us. If if you're trying to win, you should shoot the other team because they're lower. They have lower HP. They have lower cubes. But you try to shoot us, not gonna do anything. Uh, Crow jumps on in to no avail. Just completely pathetic uh, attempt there, and uh, we're able to just. Uh, do what we do just spin because uh, a uh, very easy victory so uh yeah so that is going to be the final replay um yeah i mean just pretty easy victories all around as soon as you as soon as you get that control of mid you pretty much have won the game unless you make a big mistake so that's going to be do it for the replays um but thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to like comment share and subscribe and peace